can all agree when I say being an adult is pretty boring. I mean, for the most part, it's not like when we were kids. There's no room for imagination. We have to go to work every day and pay our bills. What if there was a way to somehow leave all of that behind, quit your job, assume a new identity as a mythological creature, and spread magic throughout the world? There are real life adults that have made it their profession to be a real life mermaid. Today, I will receive a crash course from a real professional mermaid that will teach me the ropes of how she actually makes a living as a mythological creature. I'm gonna give it a try for myself with the help of my friend Mermaid Zelda, and at the very end she is going to give me a rating from 1 to 10 on how well I do at being a professional mermaid. I have a feeling there's probably a lot more work that goes into it than what I think. What's up guys, it's your girl NT here, and that stands for Natalia Taylor. Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon if you'd like to get that notification every single time I post. I upload a new video every Monday. Actually, no, we're changing that every Monday or Friday, depending on if I feel like it. Since we are on the topic of everything mermaid, I was inspired by the classic mermaid wave hairstyle, which is what you're seeing here today, I was able to achieve this totally wavy look thanks to our sponsor, insert name here. As you guys can see right here, the waver is the newest way to achieve beachy mermaid waves at home. You guys know I love insert name here because they're based in LA, they're founded by females, all of their products are completely vegan and cruelty free, and their quality guarantee shows you're gonna be happy with anything you get. I have to say, I was not disappointed at all with the new wave heat tool. This is the very first tool that they've ever released, which is so exciting. Most people release like a curler or a straightener. I feel like that's so basic. This right here is my new favorite hair tool. I mean, other than it being super cute, it comes in this salmon pink color. It also comes with a heat resistant glove that you can use to ensure safety while you're curling or waving your hair. My favorite part is that I can easily control the temperature. This is important to me because you guys know when I use heat tools, I don't want to damage my hair. And that's what's so great about the insert name waver. The hot plates are coated in a ceramic glaze that helps to minimize damage on your hair because we all know we want to keep growing our locks as long as we can. The cord swivels 360 degrees so no matter which angle you're trying to get the waver will move with you. I was also really shocked at how quickly this thing was able to heat up. It did not take long at all for it to reach the temperature that I wanted. But the way that you want to use the waver is by sectioning off your hair. The larger the sections are the looser the waves, the smaller the section, the tighter the waves. I kind of like to go in between but you start at the root and you leave the ends out and you just clamp the waver onto your hair and leave it on for about 10 seconds or until your hair has formed the complete wave and once you remove it you can see that it's starting to form perfect little beach wave formations and you just move it down the strand of hair until it is completely covered in waves and just repeat all over your head while I was using this waver I noticed that it did not take long at all to do my entire head the design is what I really like how it comes in the three barrel style and they're 8.5 centimeters. It's not too big or too small. And as I was going, I noticed it left a really nice shine in my hair too. I don't know if you guys can tell. See how shiny that looks? It makes my hair feel healthy with the least amount of damage possible while using a heat tool. That is what I really appreciate. And once you're done with your entire head, you can just put your fingers through them. You don't want to brush them, at least until you let them sit, but just separate them with your hands and your fingers and voila, that is the finished look. Look, I like making all sorts of hairstyles with wavy hair. You guys know my hair is naturally wavy already, but a lot of times it ends up looking frizzy and I need to touch it up in some way and the waver is absolutely perfect for that. So no matter what hair type you have, give this waver a try if you want to achieve natural looking beach waves that are amazing. I mean, as you can see with this before and after shot, it really made my waves more defined and just a lot nicer looking. It just makes me feel so much more confident and happy when I have my hair looking nice. Click the link in my description and use my custom code Natalia T to save yourself 20% at checkout, which is a really great deal. Thank you so much to insert name here for partnering with us on this video. 
I absolutely love the company and everything you guys stand for. I wouldn't be able to make videos on this channel if it weren't for the sponsors. So please go support them so we can continue to make fun videos like this one. So like I said, you guys are gonna come along with me to see what it's really like being a real mermaid. Hello guys! I am here with Mermaid Zelda. So you're a professional mermaid. Yes, I sure am. I had no idea that that was actually a thing. Most people <laughs> don't. It's actually like a lot of people, I'll tell them, you know, they'll ask me, what do you do for work? And I say, I'm a mermaid. I am very jealous because I wish sometimes that I could be a mermaid myself and today we're gonna do it. And with your help, I am asking if you could kind of give me a crash course. And this is your job. You get paid to be a mermaid. I sure do. <laughs> so how do you make money doing it? So there's actually a, a lot of different ways that you can make money as a mermaid. What I do personally is I do birthday parties, I do events, and I also create content online as a mermaid, but also people will work in aquariums, people will be hired for film, TV, commercials. Aquariums? Aquariums, yes, there are professional mermaids who swim in aquariums. Oh um, my gosh. Yeah, so there's like so many different ways you can be a professional mermaid. Like it can mean a lot of different things. Also, if you make mermaid tails or if you make mermaid jewelry. You obviously know that that's like a big dream for a lot of people is to live <laughs> like their childhood fantasies, right? Like as a mythological logical creature, I feel like it's not all sunshine and rainbows. It is not. That is also true. And that's something that not a lot of people know or think about. But for example, a lot of mermaid tails are actually around 30 pounds or more. Yeah. So, 30 pounds? I'm kind of nervous. Um, I'm realizing that this is going to be a lot more work than I thought. It's going to be fun but it's gonna be hard. Before we get into the tales of it all, you had mentioned that before you can become a mermaid, a true mermaid, you have to have a mersona. Yes, that is true. To be a professional mermaid, you also need to be able to act as well. You're playing a character. It's kind of like a Disney princess. It really is. It's They do go hand in hand a lot. I personally do parties as Elsa, Ariel. Well, Ariel's the perfect combination oh, yeah. of the two. <laughs> yeah. She's my fave. Okay, so part of the mersona is getting into character. Usually that goes along with choosing a new name totally. and choosing a color scheme. Yeah, so let's talk about our name, first of all. My Mersona name is Zelda. I picked the name Zelda because I love the video game Legend of Zelda. I, you know, it's a very magical sounding name and it wasn't taken yet. You know, you want a name that there isn't already- There's no know. Instagram handle. Exactly, you want your Instagram <laughs> handle. Um, you can use your own name. Some Mers do just, you know, they stick with their own name and that's cool too. But well, I want to change yeah, my name. You should pick a mermaid name. Okay, for my Mersona, I have it. What I it? wonder if this is taken. Cancer is my zodiac sign and it is ruled by the moon. I also, you know, I love moon themed things. Yes. I have a cat named moon. I love sailor moon. I feel like maybe I could be like moon something. Yeah. Like Either mermaid moonstone. Mermaid moonstone. Is I that, like that. Is that cute? That's really cute. If I'm not mistaken, I think moonstones are kind of like color changing. Yeah, so I totally. feel like we could be mermaid sisters. Yes, <laughs> sisters. So what else goes into a mersona? Are you a saltwater mermaid or are you freshwater mermaid? Do you live in tropical waters or do you live in the Arctic? So you want to pick, you know, the type of waters, the type of area that you live in. Do you want to be a princess? Do you want to be a goddess? Do you oh want to be gosh. a warrior? I definitely want to be a warrior mermaid. Also, I hate cold water, so I feel like I would live in tropical waters. What weapon? What's your do sword, spear, underwater archery? Uh, or do you have like magical powers? A spoon. A no. Spoon? <laughs> a single hopper. My weapon is my mind. Yeah. You I am a telepathic warrior mermaid. So now that I have my mersona, what? do I have to be prepared for? You mentioned that most mermaid parties, there are two kinds, two kinds of events. You could do a swimming party or a wet party, whatever you want to call it, versus a dry event and party. And then those are two quite different things. Obviously a swimming party, it's going to be at a pool or maybe on the beach and they want to see you in that tail, in the water, swimming around, doing tricks and all that. Whereas a dry event, maybe it's just in somebody's living room or you're doing a parade. So that's really important to find out because I feel like prep, oh, yeah. 
you prepare differently for those two types of events. Yes, you would. These are actually liquid lipsticks. They'll stay on for about an hour underwater at least. Super Very sparkly. iridescent and completely waterproof. Because you don't want to be a mermaid at a party and then come up out of the water and your face is melting off. No, that definitely doesn't. <laughs> that's um, not very magical. That's not very magical. You know. <laughs> and voila, now I have my lipstick on. That we match. That is so pretty, we do. And then yeah, if you wanted to, you could do some like matching like dots like under oh, or yeah. above your eyebrows and then you're it kind of like or you could use different colors but oh, that's a good idea i am getting into my mersona right now <laughs> this is your uniform this is exactly. how you get ready for work my mersona is picking me it is it it's really is. choosing me so now that the mermaid transformation has begun i think yeah. it's time to go look at the tails and see which one is calling to mermaid moonstone yes <laughs> let's try them out okay so we have lined up here all of the tails so here's what we have seventy dollars five hundred dollars yeah six hundred and how much was the real one. It was about 1500 US. That's $1,500. As more people discover this hobby, um, the prices just keep going up and up every year. So you're telling me that some professional mermaids pay $5,000 for tails? Yes. Yes. That's an expensive hobby. Well, which, yeah. which tail do you feel like fits my Mersona for Mermaid Moonstone? We should try it. We should try the moon tail. You think we you. should? We're gonna try the moon one. And I should probably wear this yeah. one, right? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Let's mermaid up. Mermaid moon tail, but I choose you. <laughs> Putting the tail on. It's really tight. They take a while to put on. They do. So you have to factor that in. Like you have to get there early to the party. Wait, and... do you don't put the tail on in front of the children, no. do you? No. No, that would ruin the magic. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so you have to either get like wheeled in on like a, in like a wheelbarrow or a wheelchair. Or if you have like someone strong enough to just carry you in, you can do that too. <laughs> Am I doing it? You're doing it! Am I doing it right? <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, it's so cool! Yes! This is my moonstone. And that's so like Sailor Mooney too, Oh, right? and that's my powers. My yeah. powers that come from my mind, remember? From this it's magical from, stone. From my moonstone. I actually brought a little something for you. <gasps> so, here you go. I'll just let you open it and look and see what, what it is. What is this? Oh my gosh, you did not do that for me. I yeah. did, so it's ma it matches mine. It's a sand dollar. This is um, handmade by my friend who's also a mermaid. Her company oh my gosh. is Ripple's Relics. And Thank you so you much. You can fully swim in that. You just have to dry it off after. And It's swimmable. It's swimmable and everything, and we're matching. <gasps> okay, so now we have put both of our tails on. We both look amazing. <laughs> now that we are in our tails, how is it that you enter the pool? I would enter the pool by first putting the fluke in the water. So I'll just kind of scoot. <gasps> Plop it in. Wow. Okay, let's just say that this is my first time doing a mermaid party and children start asking me questions. Yeah. So what would they normally ask me? Cause I want to be, I'm in my Mersona. What do you eat? Well, I eat fish, my darling. But you're half fish. You eat flounder? <gasps> oh no, I messed up, I messed up. Okay, so what should I say? Um, so I would say things like seaweed, sea cucumbers, different like anemones, clams are pretty safe. I am a sea vegan. We don't eat animals. Fish are friends, not food. Exactly. Okay. Do you know Ariel? What do you say? I say yes. 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 <laughs> We're BFFLs. Yes. They might be like, who's your best friend? Or where do you live? Can you breathe underwater? Can you make me a mermaid? Can you make me a mermaid? Like She can! can she you can! Take the, <laughs> take the plunge? Take I'm the plunge? ready! Here we go. Okay, How, you go first. Okay. So. <gasps> and that's just how you get in. Yeah! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Here she goes! So now that we're in the pool, yes. how is the proper technique to swim as a mermaid in a real mermaid tail? So the main thing you want to try to focus on is having a fluid motion from your head all the way to the end of your fluke. So you want to like be doing the worm like this. So you can use your hands in front of you like they do H2O or one in front or on the side, it doesn't matter. But you really wanna use your whole body. You don't wanna just be using your knees or just be using your ankles. You gotta use the abs, the arms, the head. 
It's gonna be feet. hard for me. Yeah, so this must be a workout. It is a very good workout, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna let you demonstrate for on how sure. to properly swim as a mermaid, and then I will try it myself, and you can tell me how I do. Sounds good. Okay. okay. How long can you hold your breath for? That seems like forever. I can hold my breath for like a pretty long time. Like a minute is pretty um, average. I can hold my breath for 15 seconds. <laughs> there you go. And the more you do it, the better you'll get at I'm it as well. I'm the knockoff mermaid. I'm the cheap off brand. It takes practice. I've been doing this since I was 12 years old, so. Walmart mermaid <laughs> is making her first attempt. Okay. I still feel like a beginner. <laughs> How was it? That was great. That was awesome. Do you open your eyes underwater? Yes. How does your eyes stand it? I like can't swim without them open because then I'm blind mermaid bumping into everything. <laughs> um, but we should do some tricks okay. too. Okay, I lost my crown. Hold on. So what kind of tricks does a mermaid do in the water? So we can do like some twirls and I can do a front flip, I can do a back flip, we can blow bubble kisses, I can blow bubble rings. So I can blow bubble rings too. Can you? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's ready? try it. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> I mean, you were amazing. You were great. Let's try bubble kisses. What you're going to want to do is to go like this, and as you're underwater, you want to go like and blow air out. Okay. And then it'll kind of go with your hand. Okay. Yeah. And it'll look like a kiss. Yeah. With bubbles. With bubbles. Let's try it. <laughs> that was so much fun. Seriously, thank you so much, Mermaid Zelda, for transforming me into a real mermaid for a day. Well, thank you so much for having me. I had so much fun, and you're natural, bro. Ah, you I look knew so it. good. Like, Mermaid Moonstone was just meant to be born. And, and here I she think is. so. Here she is. She's out. She's ready. I have to ask on a scale of one to ten, how did I do today as a mermaid? I think you did really, really well. Like the overall look, the persona, you already can do bubble rings and bubble kisses. Like, so cliche, but like 10 out of 10, honestly. Yes! <laughs> like you are really, really good. Like you, I can tell that you love to swim and that you love to play mermaids. Yes, I am a natural professional mermaid. <laughs> so do you think that I could uh, start taking up my own mermaid business? I think you could, for sure, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Mermaid Zelda, for coming all the way out here to teach me how to be a pro. <laughs> You're very welcome. A pro, mer a, a, mer a pro mermaid. Yes. Yes. Well, thank you, girl, and thank you, everyone, for watching. Shout out to Insert Name here for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much to the sponsors that make these videos happen. And I love you guys so much. If you want to see more videos where I try odd jobs, subscribe and like, and make sure you go follow Mermaid Zelda's channel. Thank you. She is going to have a video on her channel of us doing mermaids as the zodiac signs. Yes. And I'll also be uploading all of the extra underwater footage that we get as well well my youtube channel is actually emelina not mermaid zelda but i will we'll put it on the we'll, screen it'll be on the screen or down <laughs> below and also you should tell us what would your mermaid mersona name comment be? down below what your mermaid name is your mersona all right we love you guys so much thank you so much for spreading this mermaid magic all right have a <laughs> wonderful beautiful day bye guys